it was really exhilarating. I felt like a person again. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. The American Academy of Orthotists and Prosthetists is the professional organization for the field, representing the highest standards in education and professionalism, and promoting exciting careers that change people's lives. So help me God. So help me God. I am incredibly grateful for the prosthetists who've worked with me and for my legs because I do have a completely normal life. I can do anything that I need to do. Um, here, go and stop. I'm just going to make an adjustment real quick. Before I lost my leg, I had no idea what a prosthetist was. And I got a leg, and now I want to be one. I want to fit other amputees with, with artificial limbs. Two wounded war veterans fearing they'd never walk again. Neither imagined how an O&P professional would transform their lives. When I first met Tammy, we knew we were going to have challenges making a prosthesis for her right leg. It took a lot of trial and error. But I always say Dennis gave me hope. He gave me hope because that night in that room when I had nothing else, he said, if you're willing to let me fail, I will fit you and we will keep trying new sockets until we finally find one that works. The best thing that a prosthetist does isn't replace an arm or a leg. The best thing that you do is give patients mobility and function. Especially in Tammy's case, we weren't giving her legs back, we were giving her hands back so that she could walk without having to walk with crutches. There's no other healthcare field that really combines patient care with hands-on skills. Knowing that something I may be fabricating or something I may be fitting to a patient, my intervention is going to make their life easier. Just seeing a smile on their face and um, just a difference in their lives to make their lives better is definitely um, the, the point of my life. It's a great field. <laughs> it changes their lives. Prosthetists design and fit artificial limbs or prostheses. I'm taking the fiberglass and I'm wrapping it around your leg. Orthotists fit orthopedic braces, also called orthoses, and both require extensive patient evaluation, interaction, and continued follow-up care. What this orthosis is going to do is there's a single strap that goes around your calf. Excellent. How are you feeling? Kind of pushed against my hand. Ben Cook is a certified prosthetist. Ben first earned his bachelor's degree, worked his way up from apprentice to technician. Then with additional education and his residency, he's now an O&P professional, seeking his own patients, including this war veteran. There's no other profession in the world that you can use the different skills. There's an artistry component to it. There's an engineering component to it. There's an inventor component to it. There's a philosophy component to it of, of making somebody's life better. One of the first questions I asked him when I first came here is, why did you decide to become a prosthetist? And I said, it takes an interesting person to kind of be one. You kind of have to be part doctor and part bike mechanic. Marine William Gadsby says O&P professionals need unique skills to succeed. Because in combat, it's on the minute decision making, people die if you don't move fast enough. Their role in the military very much follows that same pathway that we do in prosthetics. The ability to communicate, the ability to listen, and the ability to act on what they've been told is so critical. Uh, something doesn't work, they fix it, they make it work. And it's the same thing, same spirit that the military has, it's can do. Probably the whole thing needs to be rebuilt. Okay. Which they're happy to do. Practitioner but Elliot Weintraub otherwise. grew up in his family O&P practice. He hired okay. and helped train Ben. Yeah. His Great. patients say this work is far more than being a good craftsman. Elliot was able to give me my life back. He was able to, to restore my ability to walk and let me regain my self-confidence. So when you get into the field of prosthetics, the reality is people say to you, are you a doctor, are you an engineer? Are you part psychologist? And in reality, you're a little bit of everything. And that's really what makes it interesting. You're not stuck doing any one thing. You get to juggle all these different aspects on a daily basis. Ben says his time as an O&P technician helped as he worked to become a practitioner. It's a lot of information to take in. So if you get the opportunity to build the stuff first or volunteer as an apprentice technician, it puts you way ahead of the curve. 
Yeah, that works today. And it's not just about artificial limbs. Millions need orthotic care every day. Jared Coleman's worn orthotic support since he could sit up. They help him walk and develop his superhero-like strength. Often at school. To Jared, his practitioner has become a lifelong friend. He just checks my foot and oops. I guess my braces are like sort of loose, like right now. And get Mr. Craig to uh, fix them. And mm, I see that's about it. Put your straight back up to here. I did it. There you go. It's absolutely life changing. We know Jared has challenges, but I want him to be able to fit in without, you know, it being so obvious that he needs to fit in. Got it. There you go. It's just an awesome thing. It's something that's here that provides him to make him feel like he's no different than anybody else. So many successes from the youngest orthoses patient to American heroes. Some choosing to become ONP professionals. Others grateful for their skill and compassion, a profession with virtually guaranteed employment. It's the baby boomers, the diabetic, the dysvascular patients, the type of patients that we see every day all over the United States, that volume is going to continue to grow as our population shifts to an older population. We have need for more and more and more qualified individuals to help us provide care for this ever-growing number of patients. If you go to school for this, there'll be a job waiting for you. And for veterans, a new GI Bill that makes it easy and affordable to become a certified ONP practitioner. The GI Bill pays for tuition fees and actually some of your housing. So you can actually go back to school using a benefit that you earned and you can learn to do something that helps out other vets. How's this feeling? You meet someone who's missing their arm completely and they say, I want to play golf again. So you make them an arm and you set it up so they can actually play golf again. I mean, how cool is that? You, give, you literally give somebody their life back. So much talent, skill, compassion. O&P professionals making a career of making a difference. We get that joy of, of helping people through difficult times and helping them manage their lives and get back as close to normal as they possibly can. We're not in the take it away business, we're in the give it back business. That's the joy. If you're a high school student, a college student, or already involved in another profession, you too can have a future with meaning and make a career of making a difference. For more information, go to opcareers.org.